What is going on everybody? Canuck here. Welcome to episode number two of our complete course construction series as we're working on some sort of Pacific coastal kind of thing. Um, I really like how we've started. I really like the routing. Um, I mean, I, I think it's got a, it's going to have a good mix of coastal and inland holes. I mean, I, I've I'm excited about this one. Early, I'm excited. I mean, this happens a lot, but I feel like there's something different about this, and that's what we're looking for for this video. Um, so what I want to start with is the lighting right now is kind of... Eh. It's okay. But I think I want to try to put in my magic settings. Now, I... <laughs> People think I'm kind of crazy here, but I've got this set of numbers and for lighting and time of day and orientation and inclination. And for some reason, I've tried it on a few courses. And if I use the exact same ones, it's pretty much spot on. Um, other times it doesn't work. It really depends, I think, on kind of how high and low your plot is. So I want to try it for this, and you can, the inclination is the big one, and I want to go with really dramatic lighting for this, so I want to try the magic settings, all right? So I do have them written down, because uh, I try them almost every time, but you know, I was trying to go for something a little bit more neutral, but, uh, you know, having the nice, sexy lighting can kind of make me more excited about design, and I think I need that, so... Um, let's start off by, by working on some lighting, and we're going to see if this works. Let's get the music going. Got it going. Very lightly. Perfect. We'll start the clock. We're at 40 minutes and 18 seconds. And we are off. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting in the magic settings. Don't, I don't want everyone using these. <laughs> these are these are mine, but I'll show you what they are anyway. Uh, so we'll go into environment, lighting, time of day. We're gonna go very early in the morning. Seven forty-four in the morning. Orientation. This really depends on where your holes. So th this will vary. Um, I, I kind of want the fir first hole to show some sun. So let's go. Somewhere around there, 74.4. Inclination, now this is the big one. How low do I want to go? I think I want to go pretty low. Like that. Now that looks dark right now, but uh, we've still got some work to do with things. Uh, okay, so for weather, I kind of like these settings and these work a lot. Uh, haze, 0.3, keep it there. Fog ceiling, I like to go to about a 0.8. And then fog density, I want to back up to about a six. There we go. Uh, clouds. Clouds are a pain, especially when they get behind the clouds and after a course becomes dark. So we're going to switch that up. Clouds are going right to zero. There we go. And I'm going to put a few high clouds in the air. This doesn't really do, do anything. It just kind of looks wise. I kind of like it. Uh, about uh, four, and then I make them really thick. So you get those little, little, little just light, wispy clouds in the air. I kind of like that. And those are said magic setting. And it might work out quite nicely for this. First hole is going to be an absolute stunner. Second shot in. Yeah, lighting's far enough. It's not going to be right in my face. That's what I want to avoid. I don't want too many right in the face. The so one's going to be great lighting. Yeah. Two is going to be also very nice lighting. And it's not, it's actually going away from the sun, but the lighting's still good. Which is what I like. Three coming back. Three won't be the greatest. That's okay. Uh, four. Four will be nice. Five will be incredible. That'll be great. Six coming back. You know, they're not all going to be stunners. Six is not going to be bad. I'd say that's neutral. Seven. 
This is going right against the sun, so these are going to be my worst lit holes, but even that's not terrible. I think eight's going to be great. Nine's going to be neutral, I would say. Ten will be ugly, but we'll have the ocean, so that kind of will save it, I think. Eleven will be a beautiful hole. Twelve will also be a beautiful hole. Thirteen is going to be right into the sun. That one's going to be a bit bright. We may have to alter that. So maybe we bring it this way or something. But that might be a problem. Fourteen is going to be nice. Yeah, this is the slits. The settings are going to work. Yeah, I like them. Fifteen there. Sixteen. Pretty neutral. Seventeen. That one might be some issues. Seventeen. We might have to adjust that. And then eighteen. Eighteen is going to be great. Oh, the sun's kind of over here away from it. Still going to be some nice lighting, so. The magic settings, they have worked. And I'm excited about it. Okay, so. With a nice lighting in place. Uh, now, with a low inclination like this, you really got to watch your shadows. So, with planting, that's something we're really going to have to take into account. Is the shadows, and the shadows, because the sun is so low in the sky, the shadows are going to be huge, so. We've really got to plan out uh, what we're doing for trees, so uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem, but we're going to try to tackle it. Anyway, so for this episode, we still need to throw down some bunkers, so I had some ideas for bunkers. I believe I kind of had one in here. I kind of had maybe one sitting here, and then I think we had maybe a couple on the left, so pretty basic, not like a ton of bunkers. Let's uh, get at it. So we got to kind of pick a style. Um, I'm kind of not overly fond of just kind of the boring kind of cir circular bunkers or whatever. So I kind of like to have a little bit of a little bit of character, I'll say, a little bit of character in these. So um, again, I do like this brush a lot. Oh, just play around with a few shapes. And See what we get. Not looking for a huge bunker here. Something like that. That looks pretty good right as is. I love it. Yep, that's nice. Easy peasy. Okay. So now for this one. that further okay probably a bit of a smaller bunker here but again same kind of shape be like a couple couple shapes large kind of want a little bit more or uh round, kind of like that. Add a little bit of tail here. Oh, oh, I like that. Try to avoid real, like, flat edges. Try to... Something like that. That'll catch some bunkers. Or some bunkers. That'll catch some balls. That bunker will catch some balls. Uh, anything at the back? Probably not. Yeah, that's looking really good. Let's just fix uh crimp in here. Okay. Pretty good. Like that a lot. A little flat issues to take care of. No. Okay. Uh, they're not sitting quite right yet, but we'll get to those. We're mostly just bunk placing bunkers right now. We're gonna have a couple out here again. That's like 340. That's quite a ways out. I mean, this one will probably be a little bit more in play. I kind of want this one to be a bit of a larger one. 
just to catch anyone, you know, hitting those red fasts and getting into some trouble. So, probably do a couple bunkers here. And I just, I kind of like chaining the shape together. Just kind of seeing what I get. I don't want to go too wild. That work. I've been thinking maybe maybe a trio. Maybe we got a trio of bunkers here. like how that's sitting. So again, a lot of this is, for me, is trial and error. This is definitely not the way some people do it. I, probably most people do it. Most people got an idea of a shape in mind, and you know, maybe later in the design I might I might move it over to that, but I just kind of like freehanding some, and I, I know I'm never going to get the same bunker twice, so... I, I can't tell you what, it's hard to explain what I'm looking for here, but it, once I hit it, I know. Just, I, I kind of like a lot of edges, like smooth, smoother edges. Probably a little bit, something like that. Maybe we'll do a third bunker here up for those tailwind kind of days. Something like this. Maybe. Hmm. Here. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't recommend trying doing this, but it's like an extremely inefficient way of doing bunkers, but sometimes I luck out and I get a really cool shape. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. All right, beautiful. One more little tail coming down here. Okay. Perfect. And then I did say I was kind of going to maybe do some almost like a waste bunker kind of thing going on here. But I don't know how this is going to look. But we'll try. We will give it a go. Ruining that. Look. Okay. Let's see. Some big, mean bunker. This, 
again. Not in play. What? Inviting. Or intimidating. I don't know if I like it. Do I like that? I don't think it's... I mean, I could put one here. Maybe a smaller one here. And really not in play, but it's maybe a little bit more of a visual, visual intimidation kind of thing. Maybe just kind of off the left. I mean, yeah, that's only like 221 off the tee, so... Probably not gonna... That thing's probably not gonna find... Many balls are gonna enter that one, but... Kind of like it there. All right, so now we're gonna try to work on getting these look a little bit better. We're inviting off the T. These ones are almost there, actually. A little bit more of it built up. Pretty much there already. That's good. That's always a good sign. And... Beautiful. This thing is gonna... look bigger than it is. Too big. part up a bit too. Yeah. I was kind of starting to think about transition from first to second hole. Just considering it. Okay. So, I think those are the bunkers down. I might make this bunker a little bit bigger now. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe extend it this way a bit. Yeah. similar green to the bunker to the one in the front. Alright, so let's now get into some sculpting. Use our friend the fuzzy brush. This is a green side bunker. I think it's a little bit deeper. Eleven. spot. Quite go down like I wanted it to. Then some see. This one's already on a hill. So a little bit tougher. Let's go. Not a great one to start with. Intimidating. Same 
with this guy. And the bunker lips just, you know, when you're getting this nice into the sun angle. Everything gets helped. All the undulations look better. Of course, just looks better. I've been playing around like kind of foggy and maybe neutral lighting a little bit more, trying to get away from like sun. I need sunglasses on every hole kind of thing, but what? For a nice specific kind of coastal hole, of course, bring in some fog and make this thing pop visually. But shadows may be an issue. And I have an idea for trees, which I'm going to show you guys shortly. Put the phone in, sorry. Daughter on the baby monitor. Okay. Um, that's good. Let's get in and do these fairway bunkers. Pretty good. We'll get around and do the edges after we have bunkers again, not really my forte. I know some people spend a long time on their bunkers, but but as long as they're playable and they don't look insane. Giant bumps in them. As long as they're smooth. cost me in a contest, but not a contest. Still passable. All right. So, brings areas of the bunkers up a little bit. A lot of people just kind of sink down the, their bunkers and kind of forget about the outside. And it's kind of especially important to make your bunkers pop in, in lighting like this. You're, you're going to see all those big undulations there show up as shadows. That a little bit more extreme. I like it. My music guide. There we go. Little humps and bumps there. Like it. Looking good. Bunker up one there. I might rough this up and make it almost. I don't know what I'm gonna do there visually. Uh, we're not quite sure yet. It's always the part where we gotta find a look. Once I find a look, we'll be fine. But, but I think we're going to kind of plant this two different ways. I kind of think my coastal holes are going to be a little bit different than my inland holes. Kind of trying to take a page from like, like a cypress point. And that bunker not really factor into 
strategy at all, but it's just, uh, just kind of like it there. Frames the hole a bit. Pretty good. Bunkers are in. Bunkers looking good. I'm happy with them. Okay. Now let's work on T-Box. Sight lines are pretty close to being there already. Then we gotta work on the visuals. Set the tone for this hole, because... This is going to have a little bit of everything. It's going to have some inland planting up here. It's going to have some coastal planting. So, um, we got to make a, uh, a big decision. Might be a lot of deleting and retrying and all that stuff. Said I'd show you guys everything, so buckle up. Maybe we'll get lucky and show it, get it on the first go, but. Okay, tea boxes. Do we want to get, uh,. Interesting in terms of shapes. I mean, I kind of make my very, very boring with my bot, my my tea box. I do something kind of interesting. I don't know that. Up shapes a bit. First uh, e-box there. There. Here. Okay, so... Tough part about these weird ones is you really gotta make sure the whole thing is... Flattened. No. So, I don't know how adventurous we'll get with me. Still very early in the process, obviously. Okay. Now it is time to like that. I'm too like uh, I don't know what to do. I'm too orderly. That just looks a little funny. How flat is that tee shot? That's my concern. I think it's a little flat. It's close. I think I just need to raise this tee area up maybe 10, 15 feet. I kind of want it to be about there. That's that's what I want. So what we'll do is we're going to have to re-flatten all this. But This whole area here, we're gonna I don't even know if that's enough, is it? That's yep, there we go. There we go. Maybe even a couple more feet on that back tee box. Okay. Hey. 
Oh, where we gotta Let's do this properly. Lot best we can. Do some fine details here. Let's let's mix up some T markers and make them like uh, be a Pacific coastally kind of. Never used these ones. Yep. How about these balls? Yes. I don't really use these. All right, fine. Very big decisions we're making here. Tell they are not flat. Boom. Boom. Okay. Let's see how she plays. Just initial first couple shots. Love this opening tee shot. This is going to blow people away once we get some planting in here. Liked. Mm. I, I kind of want to see those front cliffs. Oh. I kind of want to see these right off the tee, so I kind of. It would actually be better if my back tees were here. It's just, I just want to see. Now that kind of takes these bunkers a bit out of play now. But that's the tee shot I want. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to rethink this a bit. We are going to have to rethink this a bit. I think we're going to have to cut into this... Um, coastline a bit. Because I want... Yeah, we're gonna rethink this these tea boxes completely. I want a cliff, like, look up. I want this first tea, uh, tea shot to shine. So right now it's, it's close, but it's not. It's not there. So I think what I want to do is I'm gonna get into some Time carving of the land here. Oh, even further. That edge to be. I want those to be my back piece, so. some of this out, because it's real messy. Oh, so I've carved a large chunk of toast off. I want that back tea to really shine. And then we're going to probably kind of we jut some tea box out onto the coast here. That'll be where my blue is. That'll be my third tea. And the forward tea up quite a bit. Oh, so that's just I think gonna work better for us. So this T is going to get moved up around here. This T now here. This blue T, which is on, or white T, which is almost in the ocean now, is there. And my blue T remains untouched. Now that 
is the look I want. Now I get the coast. Now I get a bit of everything. Perfect. Just like that. I love it. Okay, so. Maybe we'll go with some circular. Use the circles very much. More of a square tea box guy, but for a shot like this. Digging this. All right. Well, are our sight lines? That's looking pretty darn good. I think this may be my natural break, so I'm going to stop right there, and we will be back for episode three, where we're going to start some plant. We'll be back in a bit. Thanks, guys. Looking forward to the next one.